Before we begin, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified for my latest videos. Hello everyone, today I have a review on the MGC 6x6 and why I think this is the best 6x6 on the market. Getting a look at the packaging. So we have this geometric pattern on the, on the packaging. It comes with a slider and a big box. And inside the big box, we have a cube and some accessories that come with it. In the accessories, we have a pamphlet, a screwdriver, and some extra springs and magnets. This cube costs $25, which is really cheap for an excellent 6x6. Stock sticker shades are the normal Moe YJ shades. This key weighs 175.4 grams and comes in black and stickerless plastic and is also 65 millimeters. Getting on to the turning, the turning is like the best turning I've ever tried on the 6x6. Like better than the Shadow and the LG GTS. Turning is really crispy, it's really smooth and buttery, but it's also really bubbly at the same time. The outer layers are really good and really fast and the inner layers, these layers, are also pretty fast and really good. However, these layers are a bit slow but the depth does not affect the performance of this cube. Now the corner clay on this cube is like what you'd expect on a top performing more expensive cube, regular corner cuts. To here, reverse, now for the inner, also the same, and you shouldn't go too far because you'll get severe lockups. Due to the magnets in this key, this key feels really stable and does not feel really wobbly, whereas something like the non-magnetic shadow is pretty wobbly due to the lack of magnets, and that does affect the performance. Now what are some major issues with this cube? Well there are two, pops and lockups, just like on any other 6x6. So pops and lockups do happen a lot on the 6x6, but are rare if you tighten the tension. When I first got this cube, the cube felt really loose, and when I did my first solve on it, I got a severe lockup. And that's what caused the cube to pop. Take a look at the mechanism. So, here's the mechanism again, as you can see here. Here are a few center pieces. Take out some edge pieces. Here's one edge piece. What do you look like? Now, corner piece. And now, another center piece and the inner pieces look like this so they're not primary but that's okay so the main question of this video is is this the best 6x6 should you get this 6x6 my answer is yes it's pretty cheap it has really good turning decent corner cutting it's really stable however the pops and lockups do happen but they are rare only if you tighten the tension. So you should definitely get this cube. And i say it's better than the Aoshi GTS-M and the Shadow M in my opinion. So why get the Shadow M for $50 when you can get this really good cube for half the price with really fancy packaging? That is it for my video on the NGC 6x6. Hope this review was helpful for you, and you should definitely get the 6x6. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.